Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to the first episode of my new Civilization V Vox Populi Let's Play. As usual, we will start with a quick look on the mods we will be using. Uh, there is nothing new, just the complete Vox Populi pack with the filth and uh, the filter for trade routes on top of that. Uh, what I should say is that we'll be using the version from the 19th of August that was released yesterday. So I had basically no time to test it. I'm going into this blind. Uh, and the game will be really different compared to the version that we used for the last Let's Play. During like last three beta versions, the game changed pretty drastically. So I'm quite curious how it will look like. Uh, and also... Um, I'll again say that uh, the reason why I'm using just these mods is that when I add more mods on top of this, the game becomes too unstable for me. I talked about this multiple times. I tried some other mods, some uh, like different map mods. I tried the third and fourth component for the game. And um, when I do it, the game just becomes too unstable. So I rather have a smooth let's play when it's pretty much guaranteed that I'll be able to uh, finish the game rather than making uh, or trying to make the, the let's play more fancy with all these mods and then not being able to uh, finish it because I just won't be able to load the game uh, or I won't be able to proceed from one turn to, to another. And here I'm talking from experience. These are problems that I encountered when I tried these mods. So that's the explanation. I'm not ignoring your request, guys. I just basically can't do it. Uh, so that's one thing, and um, now we will look uh, on the setup, uh, what we're going to be playing with this time. And here I'll quickly uh, go back to the previous Let's Play, because if you remember, we had to restart the previous Let's Play. And as we restarted it, someone had an amazing idea that I could always like generate three different starting locations and let you guys choose which one we will be using for the Let's Play. I really like this idea and it seems from comments that you guys liked as well. So I will do it again this time. I've already generated three starting locations. Here we will just quickly look on the settings that I used for these uh, uh, or the settings that, I, that we will be using this time. And once we go through uh, this screen, I will quickly load those starting locations and let you choose. So we won't be playing in this episode. This is just uh, to uh, show you the options, let you decide, and we'll start playing in the next episode. Okay, so let's get to those settings. There are multiple people asking for Morocco. So I've decided to go, or you decided that we'll be playing with uh, uh, Ahmad this time. I handpicked our opponents. Uh, I was trying to choose saves that uh, are not as likely to hard snowball in the early game. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, another request or request that showed quite um, or it showed multiple times is if I could try to play like outside my comfort zone. Okay, I will try that. I can't say what exactly I'm gonna do, but I will try to change some things and I don't want to get shut down like right from the start by someone like Korea or China or Denmark that can really hard snowball in the in the early game and who are very likely to snowball in the early game. So that's why I chose these guys, but I still try to get like a combination of uh, like so here we have a like economy focused save, uh, science focused save. Then we have two warmongers, or maybe even three warmongers. So hopefully it's uh, a decent mix of AIs, and it will still be a good game. Uh, also, this is why I'm not using any like fancy maps. I'll just go with standard continents. And also the other settings are pretty standard. 16 city-states. If I decide to like focus, at least try to focus on diplomacy and city-states, I want to have uh, uh, more city-states than usual. I'm not saying that we, that's what we're going to do, but I want to have the option. So 16 city-states. And for advanced options, I think this is what I used this time without uh, raging barbarians. And other than that, disabled, this should be disabled, uh, events, and that's pretty much 
it. Yeah, I think these are the exact settings that I used to generate the starting locations. So we have this covered, and um, now we can go back and load the game. Okay, so this is the first one. I actually expected Marco to um, always start in the desert, but it seems that Marco can start pretty much anywhere, and I was getting a jungle starts pretty often, uh, so I kept, uh, I think, one or two jungle starts, and we should have one desert start, if I remember correctly. But the, here is one. I will show you the yields, and maybe we can just play one turn so that we have some extra vision um here i would probably start on the spot from what i can see because we are starting on the coast and we have access to two luxuries already uh there is a hill here is a hill but that would move us away from the coast and i don't think it's worth it uh we won't be starting on the hill but we will be starting in the jungle for the starting production boost so it's okay ish and our Pathfinder can show us what's on this side. Uh, this is a coastal hill with a forest, but we would lose the, the chocolate. And I'd really like to have that. So, yeah. Uh, this is as far as I'm willing to go. I won't end the turn, just explore or show you some extra territory so this is the option number one option number two why is uh num number two last well whatever um come on this is number two this is interesting because this is like a combination of multiple things uh, starting next to a desert but still in a forest but it's like a, a narrow strip of proper forest because to the south there is tundra. I really like this start specifically. It's pretty unusual having a desert the tundra so close but still having like so rich uh, area around Right? Usually when you are next to the desert you don't have much, when you are next to Tundra it also sucks. But this is surprisingly rich on both sides. Also starting, uh, starting resource Silk is decent with the gold. So I really like this one. And to show you more, here I'd probably start on this hill. So that we have three food tile and we would still have the silk in the range right from the start but in this case i think first i want to check what do we have here okay um so this confirmed what i would do here i would move the settler because we just revealed another silk i was thinking that maybe there is nothing or if the desert would go like this way uh, i could start on this tile but with this silk it's definitely better to be here okay so this is where we'd be starting most likely and you can see the area around as for the third one Okay, this is again like between desert desert and jungle. Um, we have never started with incense as a starting uh, luxury. So yeah, that would be interesting. Problem is two of our starting luxuries are on proper desert tiles, so they really suck. But we would have uh, triple food and triple food with culture, which is a very interesting combination. Uh, we have this lake, so yeah. 
Good start on the spot. That's for sure. That's a forest hill. So it's quite decent. But um, where do we send our uh, pathfinder here? I have no idea. It looks like a hill maybe. So that would give us like the best vision. There are champs. There's no reason to move anywhere. Yeah, this tile is very valuable. Three food and culture. It's really unusual and the culture is pretty valuable. So I want to be close to that, but I don't want to move this way because then we would lose the hill and the forest. So that would be a significant production loss right from the start. But well, um, here are the three options that I prepared for you guys. We will go through like the Moroccan unique ability, unique unit uh, in the next episode. Um, I'll be looking forward to your comments. In this case, <clears throat> I don't have a clear favorite what I would like to play. I uh, tried to find like three decent locations that look interesting so hopefully I was successful at least I like them so that's why I really don't have a clear favorite uh, and yeah as I said I'll be looking forward to your comments uh, I hope that you like my decision for this start of a let's play let me know what you think about it uh, we can start every let's play like this or i could go back to uh what we used in the past just uh generate whatever the game gives us and go with that it's up to you but i kind of like this idea so i thought we would do it again and yeah as i said we will start the let's play in the next episode so i hope i will see you there and uh, until then have a good time bye bye